Hey everyone, LA Showstack here. Hope you are doing well. Today we're going to talk about not catfishing, not feline finding. We're going to talk about kitten fishing, which is the younger cousin of catfishing. Okay, so for those of you who don't know what catfishing is, catfishing um, was primarily founded in the world of dating and relationships years ago. Now it's kind of used for online, just pretending you're somebody you're not completely and then stealing their identity and stealing things. And okay, now let's talk about kitten fishing in the world of dating and relationships. Okay. Well, have you ever gone onto somebody's profile? Okay. And set a meeting with them, say for zoom. And you look at their profile picture and they are, uh, young, handsome, full head of hair. And then when you go to meet with them, they look like me, right? Old, bald. Okay. Still kind of handsome. I got to admit it, but that's what happens in the world of dating is that you have an outdated profile picture. Okay, on your profile, or it might not be outdated. It might be touched up. It might may be made to look a certain way. And people are wondering, is this a form of catfishing? Because you're basically lying to the person who you want to um, fish, fish them in, in order to date them. Okay. Now, if there's anyone who can relate to changing the way that you look a little bit in order to be perceived a certain way, it is I. Well, for those of you who do not know, I'm pretty sure you can tell now that I'm somewhat follically challenged, okay? And if you're listening to this, you're going to have to just believe me that I am bald as they come, bald and beautiful, okay? And... What wound up happening is that I started going bald at about 19. And back then, it was not cool to shave your head or to um, get hair transplants because you look like you'd have a chia pet growing from your head. So I did the next best thing, and I slapped on a toupee on my head for the next 17 years. Yeah. Now, here I am dating in the world of dating, trying to find <clears throat> you know, someone to be with and always having this fear that they're going to find me out as being a fraud, that I, I'm pretending to have hair when really I didn't. Really, I was bald underneath the fake hair, okay? I would call it, uh, my sisters and I, we would call it a hair hat, right? An HH for short, okay? And until this day, by the way, I can tell in five seconds if a person is wearing an HH because that's what I wore for many, many years. So I get that very, very well. But in instead of looking at the surface of things and saying, okay, this person's kitten fishing, this person's not being honest, this person, yeah, granted. Let's talk a little bit about what is underlying in the person's mind frame when it comes to dating and relating from this place. So what is actually happening in a person's mind frame is without this other person in my life, without attracting a date, without getting into a relationship, the only thing preventing me or one of the most major things preventing me from getting that is how I look, my age, the where, where you can see a certain aspect of my personality, a fish in the background, a motorcycle in the background. Now, believe me, I've worked with hundreds and hundreds of singles from all walks of life. And I've heard so many things. I won't date anyone who has this. I won't date anyone who has that. So what winds up happening inside us is we begin to think almost tunnel vision that if I don't have this, right, look, then I won't get that, but it's actually working backwards because I'm telling you, 
if there was a term for kitten fishing back when I wore a toupee, that's the ultimate form, right? It wasn't until I embraced who I was, was able to rip off the rug and was actually to able to change my therapeutic practice to a coaching practice that I could make videos like this and talk to my clients from an authentic way that it not only helped my whole life and my marriage and 20 years still going strong, but it allowed others to embrace who they really are. So I had this one client who uh, became widowed at an early age um, in her early 40s, and she was very concerned about her weight. She went and she got the uh, bariatrics, the surgery, and she told me it wasn't until I took your program years, years later I used to go on dates always thinking prior to, you know, working with you that I, I would always think I'm going to tell this person, this is all going to change. What you're seeing in front of you is going to be different. You're going to see something else and it's not going to look the way that it is now because I know that this is not attractive. So automatically, and by the way, she took uh, she joined Find the Right One and said it was only after she learned about who she was and how incredible she was that she completely thinks differently about herself and relationships. She's in an incredible relationship now. A year and a half. Okay, she just messaged me that she was having a picnic with her incredible boyfriend. She just doesn't think like that anymore. But it's very common to use these terms of kitten fish and uh, you know, it, catfish is even worse, but the idea is what is really going on in the mind frame of that person that I need to have a certain something in order for me to get that. It's not embracing who you really are. That's really what it's all about. Okay. Hope that this was helpful to you and, uh, happy, uh, kitten fishing, I guess.